Hey guys, Sunspan here with a TI-5 compendium video. There's no chest yet, so it's just going to be me opening the compendium in case you guys haven't bought it yet. So let's take a look at what I purchased. Um, if you go down to the store here, I bought this one, which is $27. It upgrades your compendium to level 50, so I'll show you some of the stuff that comes with it and all the goodies. Um, I did not record when I actually opened it, which is unfortunate because it showed a couple stuff where it leveled it up to 50, it showed what I got. Uh, but either way, we'll just show you what the actual compendium looks like. So here we have, I should probably disable my camera for this so you guys don't get annoyed. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Table of contents. Excellent. This is the promo for TI5. Now, the choice of heroes. I don't know if this is random, but it leads me to believe that perhaps the chests that will be coming out will consist of these heroes, at least some of them, which is interesting because two of them, actually I think, is it three of them? Two or three of them have already been done for Immortals. Uh, Shadow Shaman last year, Ember Spirit was for DAC, and for some reason I'm thinking Brewmaster as well, but I'm not 100% sure about that. And this is the Invite Predictions. Uh, I had a lot of trouble with this one. Um, Basically, you in, you predict who you think is going to be directly invited, and in four days we'll find out if you're correct, and you get a bunch of points if so. Uh, in case you're interested, I'm 100% sure about EG, Rave, Secret, Cloud9, Empire, IG, LGD, and Vici. So the only ones I'm not 100% sure are Alliance and Nip, which could be swapped out for Team Malaysia is a possibility, Newbie, I guess. Uh, this would be the first time that the past champion was not invited. I'm thinking that might be the case, but they could very well just be in place of Nip or Alliance. Um, and believe it or not, Na'Vi, I do not think they're going to get directly invited. But, hey, crazier things have happened. Let us know what, who you guys think are going to be the, the last couple invites that I'm not sure of. And here is the stretch goals for the compendium. So we start off with the basics. Basically unlock the compendium challenges, which I will go over on the next couple pages. After that is a cursor pack. After that is a vote for the all-star match. Then the first immortal treasure is at 3 million. So it seems to be in the 500,000 increments here. Number five is the ability to vote on what the next arcana will be. Notice that they're not going to be doing another voice pack or a remodel because that went horribly, horribly wrong last year. Uh, we have a new effigy loading screen. That's really strange. It's, it's such a weak uh, stretch goal at 4.5 million. And then emotes, HUD. Actually, these three are pretty weak. I'll be honest. These three are pretty damn weak. 6 million is a bunch of taunts. That could be pretty cool. Taunts have been something that have been kind of ignored or just forgotten for some reason. Uh, then award, which is kind of boring. Uh, of course, uh, they have some illustrations of what these things might look like on Dota2.com, but don't know for sure. Then the second Immortals will be the 12th marker at 7 million. And all the Immortal treasures, that's when the sales just spike up every single time. The rest are kind of just like fillers. The Dota2 short film contest is pretty cool. I think you submit like um, a short film to about Dota or something like that. I don't know the specifics, but I think... It, the first place gets like 20k or something like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, then the TI5 courier, which is called the Wyvern Hatchling courier, at 9 million. Then 10. Now we're starting to do in, starting to go in 1 million increments now. The third Immortal Treasures at 10. Then we have Desert Terrain. This one I am super excited about. Hopefully we hit 11 this time around. Uh, I I just remember old Dota 1 used to have a couple different terrain I don't think it was a choice like it would just change every now and then they have the ice version uh, and I remember there was a desert one that I really liked music pack Dota 2 announcer which is um, bristleback I believe weather effects uh, I think they're going to be probably doing something more stormy related uh, something of that nature and then the last one at 15 million is unlock a special immortal item for axe along with an axe comic pretty cool uh, then, of course, you have the upgrades for the compendium, and one of which at level 175 is the Enigma World Chasm Artifact, which changes the black hole, makes a custom black hole, which those of you that have seen our videos in the past know that this is something that we wanted to do a long time ago. And I do know that some people think that Valve 
perhaps took this idea from us, but at the end of the day, this is Valve's game. They can do whatever the hell they want. This is something I've accepted a long time ago, so it doesn't come as that big of a surprise. Uh, I figured they might do some particle stuff, and this is the only one that they advertise, at least so far. Um, but I won't lie. <laughs> I'm only human. At the end of the day, I was a little bit disappointed because that means that our chest, if it ever gets in, which we don't know about, probably not going to be as uh, sought after, but who knows. But either way, this you do have to get up to level 175 for this, which I'm not sure how much money uh, it will take. Maybe somebody in the comments can let us know. But right now, I have a level 55 compendium. I oh, no, it's level 50. It's in the, the big number here. Um, and I can upgrade it by buying points, which this is interesting. So I can buy points to upgrade it. It doesn't really tell me how many I need to get to the next level, or maybe it does and I'm an idiot. Uh, I might just buy some now just to see. Actually, I might just do that, but let's keep going for now. Next page, it shows all the upgrades that are available, uh, some of which come right away. So, for example, I know in-game I have uh, a new blink, a new, like, regeneration thing in the fountain, new teleport. It's pretty cool. It's all golden. And then come the achievements. This is a cool way to get points for your compendium. Like, uh, there's some, actually I guess we'll get to that in a second, but you guys can read this here. So just the inviting, or correctly predicting who's going to get invited and all that good stuff. So this is little chip points. And continued here. And this just shows, okay, that's what the Wyvern Courier looks like. And there's going to be different styles for it. And this is the cool thing. This is the new thing that wasn't in last year. So what I, when I activated my compendium and I went into a game, it gave me three, these actually, these three compendium challenges. And once I chose my hero, I guess it only works for all pick, I think, but not 100% sure about that. So I picked my hero and then it let me choose which challenge I wanted to take on. So the first game I played as Centaur. And I took the Blink Dagger challenge, which means get a Blink Dagger for 20 minutes, which pretty easy to do. So I got that, and the next hero was Zeus, where I hit the 14k damage to heroes, which, again, very easy with Zeus. But the points that you get from this, as far as I can tell, you can only use it on these two things. And again, not 100% sure about all of this, but I can use 100 of the gold to redeem an item, which who knows what that is, or a set. So I'm guessing it's just some random set that's already out. So it's, I don't think it's anything specifically for TI-5. Uh, but to actually upgrade your compendium, you had, I think you just, other than these points here, I think you just had to buy packs, or whatever they're called, which we'll do right here. This just shows what immortal treasures you have. Of course, none of them are out yet. And the appendix. So let's buy... So my math, generally speaking, is pretty bad, so keep that in mind here. I'm at level 50. I'm going to buy 2,400 points for $10. So let's see how much $10 gets me um, past level 50. And hopefully it's linear. I'm not sure. So $10 gets me 14 levels. That's 24 levels. <laughs> my math, like I said, is absolutely horrendous. Okay, so 24 levels... I mean, it says 100 points for the next level. Okay. Did I get anything from this? I'm not sure. What level does it show here? I'm over here now. So that means I will get the second treasure of Immortals. No, no, no. I think if you buy the Compendium, you get the Immortals. This is why it's so confusing, the way they do this. You get an Immortal or something like that. And then the more you upgrade it, which I've done now, I'll get another Immortal in that specific chest. So... It doesn't, so you see multiple immortal treasures here. That just means, let's say there's five. I have like three from each chest or something like that, basically. All right, so let's look at some of the stuff that actually comes with it. So this is, this came when I bought the $25 one originally, which is really cool. It's a pet, kind of like how Crystal Maiden has a dog. This is an armadillo. Follows Axe around along with Centaur, Bristleback, Juggernaut, Earthshaker, LC, Ricky, Slark, and Sven. It's pretty cool. It had some some bugs where it would just disappear. It looked like it died, but I'm pretty sure you can't kill it. Uh, this is something that you can predict in game. If you predict three wins in a row while doing all pick, you get 750 points. But if you get two incorrect, then it becomes a piece of garbage essentially. And this is something that just dropped randomly after a game, which I'm going to use now. 
it's only 25 coins, so not very much. I just wanted to wait to make this video before we see what happens. Okay, so that's that's great. So yeah, that is the compendium. Uh, definitely an improvement from last year. I still think the leveling system is kind of weird, but people are going to spend a lot of money on this, essentially, and that's not a big surprise because you're going to be getting a lot of stuff. I think right now, what are we at? We are at... I'm going the wrong way. Let's find it. So we're about, as of the recording of this video, which by the time you guys watch this, we'll be past this, obviously, but we're about to hit 2 million. Uh, once it gets to 3, that's when it's going to spike up big time. So expect good things. Let us know what you guys think of the compendium and how high you think the prize pool will be this year. All right, this is Sunsfan, and until next time, guys, have a good one.